play is such an important part of a dog's life. It's necessary for them to stay happy and healthy. But when our dogs are destructive with toys, sometimes that can get expensive. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. And when I sit down to watch my favorite TV show, I like to keep my hands busy with the craft. So today I'm gonna show you one of my favorites, how to make a fun tug toy for your dog. These tug toys are easy and fun to make and will definitely be a hit with your dog. All you're gonna need are a few materials that are easy to get. To get started, you're gonna need to cut some fleece in long strips. Three inches is a good size for our extra large dogs, two inches for our medium sized dogs, and one and a half inches for our smaller dogs. These strips will need to be about five to seven feet in length, depending on how long you want your toy. We're also gonna need some balls with holes in them. Chuck it balls and holy rollers work great for these toys. And finally, this part is optional, some real fur. Fur tends to increase the value of the toy and is a great idea for dogs that might have less interest in toys. You're gonna need to cut the fur into strips. I like to use strips that are about one and a half inches wide. This way you can get several tug toys out of one small pelt. Cutting the fur can be a little messy. It's recommended to use a sharp knife from the back side of the fur or a sharp scissors. Keep in mind that as you do this, you will cut some of the fur as well as the hide. So you're gonna need to clean the extra fur off before you start braiding it in. To do this, I simply hold the fur and rub my hands around it, collecting the extra hair to throw into the trash. Now that we have our fleece, our balls, and our fur, we're ready to get started. So find a comfy spot and a good show. To get started, you're gonna take your two strips of fleece and line them up edge to edge. We're then gonna take this fleece, fold it in half, and feed it through the middle of our ball. I like to find a section on the toy where there is a thick piece, which will help support as the toy is used and tugged. Feed the felt through until the two tails align. Then wedge the ball between your knees. You're gonna organize the fleece so that the two matching and corresponding colors are on opposite sides of a T. So I'll put one color on the top and the bottom and the other colors out to the sides. Get started, take your top fleece strip and fold it down, creating a soft loop. You're then gonna fold straps two and three over. When you reach the fourth strap, it's gonna go through the small loop created by your first fleece strip. To pull tight, pull on corresponding colors, alternating the colors until your knot is tight. Then we're gonna repeat this process in reverse, starting with the same fleece tip, this time bringing it up. Again, when you reach your fourth fleece strip, you're gonna pull it through the loop made by the first fleece strip. As you can see, this starts to create a grid. We will always begin the weave process with the fleece strip that is on the left side, either the top or the bottom. When you fold down, you're gonna then move in a counterclockwise direction, moving each strip and finally moving the last strip in the small hole that you created with the first fold and then pull tight. When we begin with the strip starting from the bottom and fold it up, we will then work in a clockwise direction, folding all of the subsequent fleece strips until finally we reach the last one and fold it inside of the loop. Repeat this process until you have enough base built up of the fleece that you're ready to add in the fur. Create a square fold, but leave your knot loose. Take your fur strip and slide it underneath one of your fleece strips, bringing it up through the middle of your knot, and then carefully pull tight to secure it in place. You'll now continue with your four strand square braid just like you have been, but this time one of your strands is gonna include a fleece strip as well as your fur strip. As you tighten the knot, make sure that you're careful about pulling too tight so that you don't damage the fur. 
You'll wanna make sure as well that you position the fur on the outside of your fleece with the fur facing out and the hide facing in. I like to pull the fleece tight first before pulling on the fur to tighten it. Continue to braid until your first strand runs out in between first strands, if you're adding more than one into a single tug, I like to secure a few fleece only knots to make sure that it's tight to add a little space between the strands. Also wanna make sure before adding a second fur strand that you have enough fleece left over to finish tying and bury that fur inside the tug toy. And when you're close to the end of the fleece, it's time to tie your knot to finish it off. I grab two strands, one of each color, pair them together, and tie two knots at the top to finish it. Make sure you pull nice and tight to secure them. Then if there's any excess, you can cut it off to make sure that they're all a reasonable and similar length. And now you're finished. It's time to grab your dog and engage in a fun game of tug of war. Tug of war is a great game to play with dogs, builds relationship, and even helps you work a little bit on managing arousal. But remember, this is a tug toy, not a chew toy. So when your dog isn't in a supervised game, it's important that you put it in the closet out of your dog's reach so your dog doesn't ingest any pieces of the fabric. And as a bonus, this helps keep this toy nice and high value. If you need some more tips on how to safely play tug with your dog, I think you'll like this video here. I go over some top tips to help keep you and your dog safe and keep this game fun. Happy playing!